Yo guys, what is up Dave here? Coming back to you with episode 6. This is definitely a record. I made it past 5 episodes of a single item. Um, anyway, of the Auto Legends Deep Dive series. So you might have realized that the past 5 videos were in the wrong resolution. This should be above 1080p. I am so sorry about that. I didn't realize that my recording software was recording in a downscaled uh, resolution. But that should be fixed now. We are at the full 2560 by 1080. Whereas before it was something by 810. I don't know. It was doing some weird funky stuff. Anyway, here we are. We're going to talk about performance modifications today on Auto Legends. Now keep in mind this game is in early alpha stages. This is definitely going to change in the future. So just bear in mind that this is very basic. And it's going to change. And when stuff starts to change, you bet your booty trying to keep these videos pg you bet your booty <laughs> i have to talk like i'm talking to my six-year-old <laughs> that i will let you guys know so today let's go into performance when things change i'll let you know so as you can see here we got a whole bunch of different categories we got superchargers turbo exhaust suspension tires fuel system internals nitrous there's so much body stuff brakes there's a lot of stuff we can do here so what I like to do is I like to build up the engine first because this is a habit that I'm building because eventually different parts are going to do different things to the car depending on what other parts you already have installed. I don't like putting on the forced induction until my last part. So I'm not putting a supercharger on or a turbo on until it's my final part. So for, we're going to start off with the engine internals. As you can see, it kind of tells you what it's going to do over here on the right. And I do know that the visuals for these values is going to change. But for right now, once that update drops, I'll make a new video. As you can see, the car is missing a grill. I need to bug that. Anyway, so we're going to do the... This should be a fun long video. Crankshaft. Right now, for some cars, not everything is getting the numbers it should. So kind of take things with a grain of salt. I'm not going to do heads because it only adds 2 horsepower and 2 torque, but 11 pounds. We're going to skip over to valves. They don't really do much, but we're still going to put them on. Let's see. Engine block adds a lot of weight. Not going to do it. We'll do rods and piston. Now, again, keep in mind, all these values and numbers are probably going to change in due time. Everything except the RX-7 at the moment is kind of barely touched. They want to finalize one car, and then they'll push for the rest. Right now... Look at our throttle body here. We go with that one. Our intake. Doesn't seem to matter. Go with this one. And even then, let's see, intake manifold. That one. Fuel system. What's all here? Not much of anything from either. Turbo and stuff will do last. Oil cooler. Why not? Radiator. Six pounds, one HP, and a little bit of torque. I guess it's worth it. Exhaust is fun. We're going to start from the right this time. Uh, I guess that's worth it. We'll go with the four pounds. That's fine. Weight and stuff like that really does matter quite a bit. We're not going to do either of those. ECU stuff. Uh, ignition doesn't seem to do much. That's okay. Nitrous, obviously we want maxed. These add weight, not going for it. Clutch always adds weight, a lot of weight. So we're actually going to do the first one. The flywheel adds kind of a lot of weight, but one pound for one HP is pretty good. Drive shaft, not worth it. Differential, there's a little bit of a cheeky thing with this right now. We're going to install it. We're going to go modify our gears with tuning, maybe, and then we'll come back. Transmission. Go with the final one so we can unlock gear ratio tuning. There are different tires, and it's really cool to see Nitto come back as well. We're going to go with the drag slicks. And go brakes. They actually remove weight. That's great. Weight reduction, 100 pounds. There we go. And then turbo or supercharge. Either way, we're going to add our intercooler first. Adds 44, 63, and 99. 
or 63, 83, and 120. I guess we're going turbo. So we're going to check out. You can basically see and understand how all this works. So a good explanation of how it all works. You can see you can kind of build a car pretty quickly. But you have your shopping cart full of parts, which everything is in there. It tells you how much HP you should gain, how much torque you should gain, how much weight you should lose. And then you just go check out. And this basically tells you, asks you one more time, like, do you want to remove anything? This is the total cost of your shopping cart. Click confirm. And what that does is it takes you over to the installation bay. There will be install timers. They are disabled for the alpha testing for right now, just so you don't really have to worry about them too much. But as you can see, you can scroll through all your changes. Ooh, it makes a sound. I never noticed it made a sound going through that. But you can see your car on the lift and, you know, just click finish if you want to use your gold points for it. But that's basically building a car, which is a ton of fun. So I think this episode we're going to do a little bit of flying around in here. And then next episode we'll go into some tuning. But give me one second. All right, here we are in the speed lab. I want to just show this off a little bit because it is really cool. And I really hope they do give us kind of the ability to move around a little bit in here, just for the fun of it, for the sake of it. But here's your work bay. You can actually technically have two cars going at once. There's the dyno over here that will eventually get used a lot more heavily. Let's see, does it have any actual numbers on here? I'm glad that they actually emulated a real dyno software, it looks like. But yeah, it's they got the fan there. The fan is not usually pointing at the side there unless there's like an intercooler at the side or whatever. Ooh, I wonder what kind of car they emulated with this. Looks like it had a weird spike at the end. That's funny. So is there anything kind of hiding around that we should know about in here? This toolbox is so small and cute. Uh, let's see, who are you? I have no idea. Let's see, we got... Tint, does that mean we're getting window tint eventually? Speed Lab, Nitto, sick. Is there anything in this office? Not yet. Would be cool if you could customize it. Let's see, we got Hoonigan over here. We got 208. What's this notice say? Safety glasses required beyond this point. Cool. Let's look at the tool bench. What do we got? Weird salad in the dishes. Got some paint, a gigantic hammer. A lot of cool little stuff. Is there anything in the cabinet? Uh, my soul. Oh, there is. No, nah, there's not. There's some paint on top. Engine hoist. That's sick. A lot of other cool stuff. Some oil drums, things of that nature. Speed lab over here. Some tires. The package in the box. Uh, that side up, and it was fragile. That's actually a real paint brand. Huh, cool. Template title. <laughs> I love it. Please leave that there. Ooh. Look at the template, but it's like floating letters. I love that's the kind of stuff I love. Like these little things. I love that kind of stuff in games. You got the different wheels that you could throw on your car over here. You got your tires, different paint wraps. That's sick. Different boxes. I wonder if this barcode actually scans. Like, if I could get a high-res version of it, what would it be? All right, let's go out the front door. I wonder what the squiggles are. Man, it looks so good, though. That is such a good image from right here into the garage. Oh, my God, I love it. This is the thumbnail. I'm going to come back to this. Let's go outside, see what's outside. You got our little office right there. You got a couple other buildings. Just some reused assets, which is not a big deal at all. That's just the way to save time and energy, honestly. Not even mad about it. Never want to be. Let's see, you got uh, these other buildings over here. Overall, really cool. Automobile, you don't say. But anyway, I think that's going to about do it for installing performance parts. We're going to do some tuning now of this little Honda Civic, and then we'll come back next episode, and uh, we'll talk tuning, and then we'll go to Tustin right afterwards and race on the racetrack. So I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Talk to you later. Peace out.